Hey team, it is day 43 of the 90 day challenge. Hope you guys are doing well. Just wanting to bring you a quick update. Uh, six goals uh, yesterday. I was only at 1,632 calories. Um, I did get my protein at 230. Um, and my water was right around 120 ounces. So I plus or minus two based on, you know, how you want to measure the, uh, oh, the water bottle that I'm using. And when you think about activity, getting that in no problem with all the activities that I'm doing here. Uh, and just, you know, clipping along and just nowhere to weigh myself. So I'm missing that one. But as we talk about our weight loss goals and, and whether it's any goal you have in your life and, and you thinking about the place that you want to get to, like the things you want to leave behind. Uh, as you think about that, don't forget <laughs> what you already have. Uh, and you know, somebody gave me, uh, this bracelet and it's a little backwards, but, uh, yesterday and, and just reminded me of, uh, to be grateful, uh, not just, not for only what you have in life. And I'm not talking about possessions, but just who you already are. And just to be grateful with what gifts God has given you in life and what you're going to do with those gifts. Now, our goals in life are largely based on outcome, right? So we, I want to lose this much weight or I want to have this much money or I want to, you know, get to this many days vacation or I want to get, to, you know, I want to buy this so I can, um, you know, have my family do some fun stuff or I want to do some fun stuff. You know, it seems like they're always outcome based. And I've talked a ton about the book Atomic Habits and how you can change the different things that you do and to ensure that, you know, those small little changes you're making over time, you're going to be able to get your goals done. Uh, but the biggest thing that I, I, have, I think I've lacked uh, up into this point in my life is to be grateful for what I have. I mean, when I and I'm not comparing, but when I think about what I'm able to offer uh, for my children and the people that I'm able to help already with the gifts that I already have with me, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes to remember that. Be grateful for what you already have and wake up every morning being grateful. So many times I used to wake up just <laughs> pissed off for lack of better terminology. So, you know, I would encourage you if you don't have a gratitude practice and you haven't really taken a look at yourself is your current situation, regardless of where you're at, how much you weigh, the possessions you have. If you haven't really taken a look at that and really taken an inventory of what you should be grateful for, I mean, geez, I mean, I am out. You can hear the birds chirping. It's a sunny morning, like I got cars starting, <laughs> things running all over the place. But if you haven't taken an inventory, of, of what you're grateful for, do it. You'll be amazed at the things that you already have, the abundance that you already have, and maybe some of those goals that you originally wanted. First, ask yourself that question is, are they still valid? And secondly is, are they really your goals or are they society's goals? But anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you again for all your support. I really appreciate it. And as always, if you have comments or suggestions, leave them below and I'll reply to this video or subsequent videos. I'll do a video on that. Any ideas you have, let me know. But I definitely, definitely, definitely look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Thanks again.